Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here with Just Be Tarot Aquarius. My name is Michelle. How you doing? So Aquarius, we're going to get right into your August reading. Newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Roles could be reversed with flop transpose. Take the message as it resonates and as it applies, Aquarius. Use your own discernment and intuition when viewing these videos, okay? I could be picking up someone in your energetic sphere, so let's keep that in mind. All are welcome here, including the cross watcher. And these are never gender specific, okay? So take it as it resonates once again and flip flop the energies as you see fit. So for, okay, for August, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus, anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you. You have, for August, justice is coming. <laughs> Beautiful energy. I feel like somebody is saying justice is coming, but when, right? It's been um, a long time. Like, we've been getting what we want, but it's like in pieces. Um, Spirit is saying justice is coming for you. All right, and with the witch energy there, I feel like you're manifesting. You're the one who is co-creating this justice in some shape, form, or fashion for yourself. You're balancing out the scales. You're looking at and deciding your next steps. You're making plans. And I feel that Spirit is saying you may have a lot of different things going on because... And that's not a bad thing. You may be booked and busy, okay? You may be um, planning this and planning that. You may be orchestrating something with your helpers, but also with people around you, okay, Aquarius? So it's not a bad thing. It's just that I feel that you have to do one thing at a time and kind of keep some type of um, progression when it pertains to these things. Like I said, I kind of feel like you guys are booked and busy. I also feel the energy of travel, moving, like there's a couple of different components here and you may have to organize your time okay organize for success and also you know kind of go with the flow is also what i'm getting here aquarius like i said organize right so when we're organizing we're taking our time or something like that all right so let's see for august i feel like um september is going to be so much better for some reason i'm getting this 27 it's giving me the ninth month, all right? Um, I usually don't see the numerics like that, but that's what I see. Like, September is going to be super um, exciting. And so, in August is an organizing time, is what I would like to say. All right, maybe a time to retreat and kind of plan and organize and, you know, use that far-seeing, um, future-seeing energy that you have. Because justice is coming here for you. All right, justice is coming. So let's see. Um, I feel like some of you, like I said, you may be moving, you may be smudging, clearing, redecorating, or something like that. You may be manifesting, vision board, things like that. You're standing in your truth, though. You see the sword is here. So this is definitely your card. You see the sword of truth and justice is right there. Usually justice has the scales in it, but this has your sword. Yeah, you're putting on your, <laughs> you're putting your best foot forward. You're putting on your um, witchy vibes of put, being put out there, okay? So intuition is super important as well. And again, organizing for success. Twelve Aquarius. Let's see what we get here. Oh, ten of pentacles. Oh, yes, Aquarius. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have? Oh, first card out the sun. So, yes, simple solutions, joy, happiness, prosperity, restoration, being restored. Okay, abundance is yours. You can see clearly. Yeah, the sword, clarity and victory. The sun, happiness, yes. And this is August energy. It is Leo. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, ten of cups in the reverse. All right. What is this about? Mm. I just heard justice. That's what it's about. It's about that justice that's coming in. Let's see. 
We have the four of pentacles. You have help. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. Six of cups is here under the sun. The fool is here under the ten of cups. The Ten of Wands is here under the Four of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Oh, the Nine of Cups. Okay. All right, Aquarius. What I'm getting here is that you're literally going to be doing some type of research. And again, this energy is going to move really quickly. So... I also feel the energy that um, Aquarius August may go really quickly. It comes in quick as it did and it moves out really quickly. Okay. And so I feel like you may be trying to keep up with the time. So again, and when I say the time, I'm literally talking about time. <laughs> but again, Spirit is asking you to kind of organize and slow down. Um, and just enjoy is what I would say. Enjoy this time. Um, cause you know, nine of cups is wish fulfillment, but it's also very high vibrational energy. It's a frequency, um, for wish fulfillment. It's a frequency aligning with that frequency and everything as well, no matter what is coming up, because it does look like, um, 10 of cups. Somebody is either moving 10 of cups could be a home card. So someone is moving, but with all of these cups on here, and just a singular person here, I kind of feel that you're revisiting what your all is, what your happiness is. You're revisiting that, okay? So you may be, you know, changing your mind, okay? You may be changing your, ma your mind. You may be looking at um, what has happened in the past, your past experiences, um, and you definitely, you know, this is nostalgia is soulmate energy, but it's really nostalgic, sweet, you know, childlike energy of our past. It could also talk about different issues, right? Mommy, daddy issues, even though this card looks so much more romantic. Um, I feel that there was definitely some type of happiness here when it pertains to a connection. Okay. Um, but the nine to the six is a three of cups. So for some of you, I do feel that you have new love coming in or a new connection. You can have different connections um, in August. But I kind of get the energy that nothing is going to be just like the past. It's like the past is the past is the past is the past. And I feel that somebody is revisiting like what's going to make them really happy, what's going to make them feel like they have everything that they want, including home, car, business, work, relationships, everything, everything under, you know, this, I have everything card. Okay. I feel that you're going to be taking a leap of faith in a new direction. You're on a new journey here is what I feel. And I also feel that you're getting counseled and I feel this count consultation is taking place between you and your guides, your gods, your, whatever you subscribe to. I feel, again, the Spirit is asking you to drop anything that you cannot control, okay? Anything that is overwhelming, burdensome, anything that makes you feel frustrated or makes you feel like you want to hide or that, you know, you want to take action, but it's just so freaking much. It's kind of the energy here of allowing. Allow. And go with the flow of the wheel. Go with the justice. Because beautiful things are happening here for you. You have the sun. You have the wheel of fortune. You have the nine of cups. You have justice. First card out. And here you are. This is the energy of Gemini. So you could have Gemini significantly in your chart. But it's air. So I'm going to say that um, the first card coming out is you. And this card here is also you. I feel that you're doing some investigative work. You're looking into things and you're cutting things off. But Spirit is asking you not to move too quickly because this is the um, the quick card, okay? Speaking quickly, moving quickly, thinking quickly, all the qu <laughs> futuristic quick, 
quickie quickie stuff but it's also an energy of hmm i have yeah hmm i have this happiness but how can i make it even better how can i make it ten of cups how can i make it better because that's what gemini kind of does gemini kind of um is the baby of the air signs and gemini can be um very witty very in intelligent of course they create right they they look at things and they say oh i want to make it even better or i want to put a twist on this or i want to recreate it okay it's almost as though they get bored really quickly is what i'm getting um this energy gets bored really quickly not particularly gemini's but this is your energy so what i'm getting here is that you're going to be in a space where you want to move on to something new you want to drop some things but spirit is asking you to kind of hold off. You're receiving help. Everything is happening divinely. Um, everything, you know, this is the universe. It's being orchestrated here for you. Now, I also feel the energy of Saturn. So Saturn may be sitting here um, asking you to be kind of still also. All right, Aquarius, let's see. Let's bring some things out. I do look at this, the sun. I do feel six of cups with the nine of cups. I feel like you're going to have some fun times in August. I feel like there's going to be some parties or chances to go out with friends or dates, right? I feel that you will be getting the spotlight. Now, because Venus is retrograde in Leo, and this is Leo, the first card that came out and it's coming out again. Um there's the energy here with this is spotlight. So you can find yourself in the spotlight. You can find yourself in the spotlight when it pertains to um, these relationships, commitments, or partnerships. Rather, they are in love, romantic, non-romantic, institutions, businesses, okay, um, family. These things could be coming um, out for you. And because it's here... You may be, like I said, redoing some things, recalibrating, rethinking, um, revisiting your connections, okay? Something that has been going on in the past may be being tweaked by you, okay, Aquarius? This is what I feel. And maybe that's why the Ten of Cups is, the, is reversed because it's like it's a do-over. I'm going to start again. This is not exactly what I want it even if it's just moving it's not the home that i want right it's not the place i want to dwell in okay um and i feel that you're getting some type of support some type of help because this looks like um a business office right um i'm also getting um you want to make sure that you are not overwhelming yourself you want to make sure that your stress levels are intact okay and kind of go with the go, go with the universe all right, go with the universe because look, I'm, I didn't show you this yet, but look, King of Pentacles. This is a person who is very, very generous, and it could be you. It could be a cash infusion. It could be stabi stability, security, everything that you want. Okay, maybe you're taking a more practical uh, step, a practical process. You are organizing your mind, your time, your money your energy, um, and, and making progress in that way, right? Or this is someone outside of you. Like I said, this person is very generous with their time, their money, and their energy, but they have business sense. They know when, um, you know, how to balance their books, who to give to, who not to give to, and things like that. They literally save for the future because they know how to manage their money. They could be a workaholic, okay? They could be a workaholic, definitely, all right? <clears throat> I feel that you're going to be beating out competition. For some of you, you may be changing jobs, changing locations. A whole lot of different things may be happening. It's like you're going to be taking care of a lot of different things. You could be booked and busy. Okay. Blessed and profited. Okay. <laughs> All right, Aquarius. Shoot. Let's see. Let's see. First card, the sun. What's going on with Aquarius in August? Yeah, you may be dropping people who are full of drama and, you know, you may be cutting people off if they're not in alignment with you. But And that's a good thing, but you don't want to be too hasty, too quick, 
You know what I'm saying? You want to do everything in moderation with the king of sword, uh, pentacles there. All right. So let's see. Why is the sun here? <clears throat> There's an ending also of, um, yeah, I feel control control factors may be at play. You want to, um, if it's you, all right, you could be cutting off people who are controlling and things like that. Because again, your relationships, romantic or non-romantic, are coming into play here. But you also um, do not want to move in that energy. Okay, Aquarius? Ooh, wow. Okay, so I asked for the sun. The emperor came out, but it came out in the reverse. Okay, it flipped. Well, this could definitely be somebody trying to control something. All right, and in the reverse, it's like um, running things with an iron fist, being like a dictatorship or something like that. That's not cool. Okay, so you could definitely be, you know, this could be a husband or somebody. Oh, yeah. With the lovers coming out next, Aquarius. Somebody is revisiting um, a relationship, is what I feel. Okay? Mm mm. No. Mm mm. So, as I mentioned, Venus, retro gay Leo, your um, opposite sign, I believe it's your. Yeah, your seventh house here. Um, I think your seventh, your fifth, and your eighth, or something like that, is being. Um, Highlight it, but I know it's your relationships because everybody's relationships, okay? Moving on. The Emperor Reverse is mm -mm, a control freak. It's a person who rules with the iron hands. It's, it's an authoritative figure who thinks that they can dictate um, and be mean at the same time. <laughs> okay, no. All right, so somebody's got one foot out of this, okay? And they may literally just um release this all together okay now i also feel with justice is coming um if this has been going on with you in any shape form or fashion rather it's a boss at work your own crew if you have your own business um if it's your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend your wife whoever this is a child a father figure okay um you may see their horns, okay? You may see their low vibrational energy, all right? Now, if this is you, Aquarius, um, if something is making you feel um, angry, you're being asked to release it, all right? I feel that you will, definitely. What else is here for Aquarius? What's going on here? This is Aries energy, and then we have Gemini. Remember I said Gemini energy is right here. So these could be people outside of you, but I feel like you're a part of the lovers. Okay? Yeah, queen of swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're no longer looking to the past is also what I see. Remember when I said this nostalgia is kind of like the past energy? You may be um, revisiting nostalgic thoughts, good times, thinking about this kind of stuff. And like, how can I make my ten of cups full again? How can I get back? good times like that but you know this emperor card here may also be that somebody has passed away or something like that in the very past long time ago somebody who already crossed over on the other side they may be trying to contact you and can't they may be trying to show you signs and synchronicities and they cannot all right somebody from the past that you know okay or this could have been that you had poppy issues mommy issues from the past, okay? Your belief systems are changing about the way you were brought up with this Six of Cups here, okay? Some things were really good and there's other things that was like, wait a minute, that wasn't really healthy for me. That wasn't really good for me. I didn't get raised in a home that was really in the right, in the right way. And maybe I've been going about things the wrong way. Maybe I was, you know, trying to marry someone, get with someone, be with someone who reminded me of who I grew up with. And that's not for me. Okay. 
because the Queen of Swords is a is is a people card, right? It's Libra energy. Justice is coming. It's Libra energy, and um, the Queen of Swords for me as a reader is uh, is someone who has been um, disappointed, hurt, used, abused, and things like that. And so that's why they're they're a good bullshit detector because they, you know, experience is the best teacher. Okay, they know how to detect shit the thing is they only want what's right what's just and fair for everybody involved including themselves but people come to this person they lie to them they use them they try to get things from them and the queen of swords is like hell fucking no stand back right so yeah but the queen of swords is looking to the future i feel that the queen of swords has cut off some people here yeah mm -hmm. yeah with the Knight of Cups here. So this person in the past was a charmer. Um, or is. Okay. Present or the past. Take it as it resonates. And it won't be for everybody. But it's definitely for some people that I'm resonating with. Okay. Somebody was such a charmer. Okay. It was almost like love at first sight. It could have even been um, some type of trauma bonding here. Okay. Um, is what I feel. Mm -hmm. What else is here? Holy Spirit. Yeah, but somebody is literally, um, Archangel uh, Raphael is literally here to give you what you want as above, so below. There's a decision you have to make. Yes, there's a decision you have to make about the past. There's a decision. You want a different kind of start. That's what you're getting. You're getting a new start with the full energy. So like I said, in the, you know, I feel in the past you may have gotten into something um, that was long lasting. Um, but there's definitely an energy here where your past is coming up for you to revisit it, reevaluate it, do some self-reflection and change things around as you see fit. Because I see you getting um, new love in your life as well, Aquarius, okay? Mm. You could be dealing with a child's mother, a child's father as well. Let's see. Yeah, and you're making this decision like, oh my goodness, sometimes it's really good and other times it's not. On top of that, you're trying to um, manifest and prosper when it pertains to your business. Now, for some of you, you, like I said, you have a lot going on. Two of Pentacles, this is somebody who has a lot on their plate and they're trying to simultaneously balance all of those things, juggle all of those things, okay? And you may have two businesses, two jobs. Um, you may have a really hectic work life and then you come home and it seems like that's just as hectic, okay? Um, especially if you have children and a person like this in your life, all right? Yeah, but didn't I tell you everything is happening divinely? Okay, so spirit doesn't want you to take on more than you can handle. Spirit doesn't want you to move too quickly. This is a time for moderation. This is a time to temper yourself as well. I feel that for a lot of you, you've been patient. Like, come on, Michelle, I've been patient. I've been waiting for this justice, like I said in the beginning. Okay, yeah, but see, spirit is trying to move you towards the sun, Aquarius. But spirit wants you to know exactly what you want and to, you know how if somebody just gives you something, you know how they say, if somebody just gives you something, it's not the same as if we earned it. It's not the same as if we went out and purchased it ourselves, right? And I kind of feel that energy here. Spirit wants you to literally feel, see, and know that this is what you deserve and this is where you're going to be and that you're not going to go back to the past. Um, person, place, thing, behavior, pattern, any of that. Spirit wants you to know that this is what you deserve. So Spirit kind of wants you to... Also, trust that you're being protected and watched over. Trust that Spirit God Source has your back, as always. Okay? But it's something like that. Like, okay, maybe you said it before. Oh, yeah, I don't want this anymore. Or I want something more. I want a different kind of happiness. Okay? And you got it. Right? And then you realize that that's not what you want. So I feel, like I said, this might feel, this feels to me like Saturn, this Wheel of Fortune is like a stern teacher energy. I don't think Saturn is in your chart. I think Saturn and Uranus is going retrograde though. Okay, they may already be retrograde. I know that um, Uranus was definitely activated. Okay, 
um, and Uranus is or Uranus, whichever one you want to call it, okay? Um, that's the rebel planet, Uranus, okay? Saturn is all about the present and learning and elevating through lessons, okay? Uranus is like, man, fuck that. Get out of here. I'm looking at the future like the Queen of Swords is trying to take control, right? But Spirit is saying, um, trust where you're being led, okay? Because there's something about you thinking that you wanted whatever it is that you got and, you know, feeling fulfilled with it. But now wanting more without this Nine of Cups is what I feel like. Uh-uh, no, that ain't what I wanted. I'm sorry. I thought I wanted that. Uh-uh. So you're revisiting, you're reorganizing, you're booked, busy, blessed, prosperous, more than you know. Even with the shit that's going on, because literally, Spirit is going to leave you a gift. There's a gift here. Okay? There's a gift here. I'm hearing, don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the boogie. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, see? We thought we had everything we wanted and we will have it again. It's going to be better. It's going to be grander. It's going to be great. It's going to be perfect. Temperance. It's going to be perfect with temperance. Okay? It is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Spirit is saying you got to let go of the burdens. You got to let go of trying to take control. You got to let go of the... Um, the volunteer work. Spirit didn't ask you for the C. I told you. Spirit didn't ask you to do this volunteer work. You're doing it yourself. Ten, ten is here with the two of pentacles. This is you going back and forth from one struggle to another. And you want to let it go. Definitely, Queen of Swords. You want to let it go. You want to take control. But Spirit is saying no. Okay? Allow Spirit to do this. Spirit's going to make it perfect for you. Perfect. The Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, and the Sun, you're going to be restored. You're going to feel good. Like I said, everything is happening the way it should. Yep. You're going to get exactly what you want. But look at, this is what I'm saying. Spirit wants you to know it. Okay? Spirit wants you to know where your help comes from. Spirit wants you to know. I'm getting this like, this is a nosy person who thinks they know it all. <laughs> this is like that energy of researching and um looking into it and seeing it and knowing it right or thinking that they know but i feel the spirit wants you to know that you are their child and they're going to provide you with everything your helpers whatever you subscribe to is going to help you get everything you want the ten of cups that's reversed right here is coming out okay but i feel like you have one foot in and one foot out spirit is asking you to balance out your energy so that you can literally get what you want. Like I said, it's, it's, it's almost an energy like you're acting out. This is a child. It's like you're acting out. You want your happiness. You know exactly what it is that you want. But Spirit is saying, I know what you need. And I know what you want too. Let me do what I need to do. You on the other hand. Because like I said, you're being supported. Okay? You are. But you're also trying to take control. I don't know how to say it, Aquarius. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay? Let's get the Prince of Swords, because I said this was you. Let's see. What's the Prince of Swords? Working hard, trying to take control. Now, numerically, I always get this, but the eight and the four together, this is talking about dream big, especially with pentacles. You're going to have a huge, huge blessing. But Spirit is saying, align your energy, keep working on you, and... Hold back on doing anything um, quickly. Because pentacles is, you know, one step at a time energy as well. Okay? One step at a time energy as well. And very synchronistic. Put the four into the eight, you get a four again. Okay? There's a lingering four. So very synchronistic. The lingering four would be four, four, which is I am protected. I am guided. Or it could be four plus four, which is eight. Eight and eight, I'm manifesting great things and I have help, okay? So again, um, the four and the eight is a 12. It tells me, Spirit is saying, dream big and that is exactly what you're doing. But you may be trying to take control. You may be trying to take the reins. 
Spirit is letting you know, first card out, justice is definitely coming for you. All right. Again, like I said, I'm getting September as well for some reason here. Yep. Clarity. Look at that. Isn't that synchronistic right there? Remember I said there's a sword right there. And look, very synchronistic here. Very. Yeah, you're going to be able to move on from um, different things that I feel that you're going to be able to move on and do and go and uh, do everything that you want to do with clarity. Um as justice is coming but there it's been a halt right it's been slow you feel like you have a lot of responsibilities um you may feel like you're doing everything on your own you may feel like you've been waiting and waiting yeah okay waiting waiting anticipating and manifesting all at the same time but feeling as though you're getting pushed back feeling as though yeah you're not getting what you want but great change is coming aquarius Great, great, great change is coming. And you may be leaving some people behind. People, places, things, okay? Whatever it is, it will be different for everybody. But here you are, all right? You are protected. You are, okay? Spirit is saying, just be still. Stand your ground. Be still. There are huge changes that are happening. Look at how all these um, held up cards, okay? But Spirit is saying, you are going to win, You are. I know. I say it a lot. But you are. Okay? And like I said, you already have been. It's just that some things are coming up that's like, whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Mm -mm. Nah. That ain't it. That ain't what I thought of. That ain't what I thought I was getting. That ain't what I thought I was producing. That ain't what I want. You know what I'm saying? I need to change some shit around. Okay? So I can really get what I want. But it's almost like spirit wants you to know it for a fact. Like, okay, um, I want you to know that I, spirit, right? Or even Saturn, your, your ruler, I don't know. But, you know, the universe wants you to know that um, they're fixing this for you. They're making this happen for you. But they want you to know that, you know, they want you to be sure. Or they want you to do some type of reflection, Aquarius. That's what I feel. On your experiences in the past. Childhood. Your relationship with your parents. What is being mirrored to you as well. Okay. With the lovers here. This could definitely be a mirror. Okay. Polarities happening. Between you and people in your life. And there's some things that only you can cut out. Right. By doing reflection, by going through this revisiting energy that I feel this all over this board. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with an abundant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Absolutely. Absolutely. Aquarius. Trust it and know, yeah, the great I am, okay, Aquarius? Trust and know that I am God. Yes, trust your angels. Trust your angels. Let go of your expectations of how your dreams will come true. Trust that heaven has the perfect plan, and it does. It's right here. Heaven on earth is here for you, Aquarius. It is, but it's a process. And like I said, no matter what's going on, August is going to go past like this. Trust that. I see that. Mm -hmm. Your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come, although perhaps in forms you did not expect, Aquarius. So keep an open um, mind and an open eye, right? Your mind's eye to what is going on here for you when it pertains to your um story it will be different for everybody but um also stay prayed up you know you are protected as always the angel came out here to confirm that the seven of wands is my seatbelt card okay um so you're definitely protected here um i was gonna say more see this is the thing aquarius i was gonna say more and spirit told me shut my mouth so that's those kind of signs and synchronicities, confirmations, right? It's not always outside of you. 
it's sometimes inside of you, okay? So if spirit asks you to shut your mouth, you know, and only speak victory into your life, do that. Do it, okay? If spirit says hold back and don't say nothing, don't because spirit is taking care of it. It's not to say you can't speak up for yourself. I'm not telling you, you know what I'm saying, to sit down and take anything either. But what I am saying is listen to your guides. Listen to your higher ups. Listen to the divine. Your help is here. It is. Let's just bring out a card. For August, for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, anyone with Aquarius in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Holy Spirit, please. What does this say? Oh, in the summer. This card was in the uh, deck. Your prayers are being answered. And what do you have for Aquarius here, Holy Spirit? Ooh, single, beautiful, curvy, bold, go-getter, passionate, enthusiasm, courageous, a fire sign. So yeah, that Leo energy is in full effect, okay? You gotta look and see where Leo is in your chart, but you could be meeting a single fire sign. You can have fire in your chart, okay? Relocating, yes, yeah, some of you are moving, um... Literally, physically, some of you, you're going to higher learning. You're moving up in status. You're moving up regarding your ascension or your growth or your evolution or you, you are receiving some type of revelations. You're moving up, okay? You're not going to be where you were. You're going to be somewhere else. And I love this. It has the Aquarius sign specifically on here as well as Cancerian. So you could have Cancer in your chart. Okay, um, Cancer energy does talk about home. All right. Um, but yeah, Aquarius and Cancer symbolizing there. All right. I love there's a rainbow here over the world. All right. You're going to be, yeah. Don't play it on sunshine. Don't play on the moonlight. Worth the wait. All of your cards are beautiful, Aquarius. It's worth the wait. It says divine timing, manifesting. True love is coming sooner than you think. Didn't I get this in your reading the other day? Okay. Yeah, work overload. So some of you, you've been happy working. That's leaving, Aquarius. I hate to tell you, you're... You're getting some type of balance in your life. It says working too, too hard, too much work, stretching yourself thin, sleep decline. Like, that's leaving. It says here unfinished business. Mm. Exciting times. <laughs> Mm. Mm. And homebody.